Hi everyone, this is Shamir from Simon Says, and I'm going to do a demo for how to export your Simon Says transcript to Adobe Premiere Pro. This video will cover how to utilize transcripts at the beginning of post-production, and then how to subtitle caption your video once you've edited it. If you're only interested in the latter, skip ahead. So you recorded some awesome interviews, you're ready to start post-production, you transcribe those interviews with Simon Says' AI, gone through the transcripts, added some speaker names, bookmarked the key passages, or invited team members to collaborate with, and now you're ready to export. So click Export, then go to the Adobe Premiere icon, select Markers, select Bookmarks if you just want to export the bookmarked passages of your transcript. A zip file with XML markers will download to your computer, unzip it, go to Adobe Premiere Pro and to the project, then open the file menu, select import and navigate to where your unzipped XML marker file is, which you downloaded from Simon Says. The purpose of this box is to have those XML markers attached to the respective audio or video file. Locate that media file on your computer. If you reconnected the XML file correctly to the media, it will look like this. Ta-da, you're ready to edit. Markers attached to the clip and project level, so it makes it convenient no matter how you edit. You can see here that speaker names carry through to the markers, and that markers are searchable, which makes editing so much faster. Now, if you've already edited your masterpiece, exported it, and transcribed it on Simon Says, and now you need subtitles and captions, here's how. First, make sure your transcript is correct. Feel free to translate at this step, such as if you want your video available in other languages. We recommend exporting to the Visual Subtitle Editor. This is not a mandatory step, but it is helpful so you can set how many characters per line and whether you want one line or two line subtitle cards. By default, Simon says his subtitles are CEA 608 and 708 compliant. In the Visual Subtitle Editor, you can preview how subtitles will look on screen and make any edits as usual, like in the Simon Says Transcript Editor. Irrespective of whether you do this step, the next step is to export to SRT subtitles. They'll download on your computer as a zip file, unzip it. Go to Adobe Premiere Pro and to your project. Make sure closed caption display is enabled. You can do this by clicking the wrench icon on the program monitor and select Closed Captions Display Enable. Next, go to the File menu and select Import. Navigate to where the unzipped SRT subtitle files are. When they import, they live in your media bin. You can adjust the style of the subtitles here, then drag them to your timeline and align them. Ta-da, your film is ready for distribution.